we are not ready yet, uh, even though I'm uh, doing this talk. Um, all I wanted to, you to know, if you don't know already, is that T, the wonderful T on that side, is looking at the registration. So if you haven't got a name tag and some colors to represent your background, please see T. And if you want a drink uh, or a refreshment or some description, have wonderful Aga on that side. So make yourself a home. There's a makeshift. Oh, DJ was ready. <laughs> a makeshift. Um, um, hello and good afternoon everyone and thank you for coming. So if you'd like to grab a stool, make yourself at home, put your seat belts on, relax and uh, we're going to kick off. We are definitely not going to talk very much, just... Hello. <laughs> Just to say thank you for coming and introduce ourselves. So my name is Jaji and this is Georgie and we run ZU UK. And um, I'm going to talk about for... Yeah, that's very disorientating, trying to speak and don't look at that at the same time. You fall off the stage. Um, so I just wanted to really quickly talk about labs uh, from my own very personal experience, although I find it quite interesting that I started in what was called theatre laboratory. So the word laboratory was always really important to me because it started about 20 years ago um, working in the legacy of uh, Jetsi Grotowski. And labs then <laughs> like was so different to what you call labs now. It's just been a very interesting um, appreciation of what the, both those words mean. Uh, the laboratory that I was involved with back then was very much about what a laboratory meant, was about rigor, was about scientific research, was about uh, discipline, was about keeping to methodologies so strictly and strongly that the results that would be emerging were, were ones that you could kind of, you know, depend upon and call upon. And today, I feel that that's completely different. The labs that I work with today are much more lateral, much more about collaborative experiences, much more about sharing and open source, and just a completely different sort of shape. And uh, that's something that I think is really interesting, and I'm glad to have lived a life in which I've participated in both, because I'm able to see the things that work about one and the things that work about the other, and kind of try to bring those two things together. So, yeah, that's... That's, yeah, that's me, and I'll hand you over to the short. Hi. We decided a while back that we wanted to make a kind of work that, that there was not uh, much reference for, uh, apart from a few uh, companies or friends that have become a quite a tight and get tighter and tighter network. And that got us interested in running residencies and mentoring artists and, and looking at what methodologies, not just from within theatre and then beyond kind of digital art and then game design, could aid those collaborations and those um, residencies. And then soon after we started looking at lab models. So in this room today, with participants and the delegates and the speakers and contributors and the collaborators and ZUK TAG and Meme Lab who are hosting, co-hosting this event, we have a s stupidly wide range of approaches to what we might call lab and residencies. The intention of today is that by provoking um, a few thoughts and conversations around the tensions, around the use of lab as a word itself and other approaches to it, we can then find like-minded people and organizations that can share success stories, failures, and most importantly, not reinvent the wheel when they're trying to do something. So the reason why we're keeping all the talks extremely short is because the talks are only a starting point for conversation between you, you looking at the prototypes we've come up with in this last week with TAG and Memelab, and that we have enough space in the conference for you to then talk to other people. So we'll close our introduction here and introduce you to TAG Montreal. And that's Lynn and Bart uh, at this moment. Okay. 
hearts and minds.